guys, we spent a day exploring San Miguel de Allende. San Miguel is located just an hour drive from Querétaro or around 4 hours from Mexico City. For something a bit different, we plan to visit as many rooftop bars in San Miguel as we could. What better way to explore the town than from above, with a cold drink in hand. So come along with us to the five spots we visited and we will crown our favourite at the very end. Our first stop of the day was Inside Cafe. This place has it all, a restaurant, cafe and a bar spread across three different levels. Naturally, we headed straight for the top. We kicked off with a much needed beer after walking the streets and soaking up as much of the city as we could. The service was great and although we didn't try it, the food looked delicious. San Miguel itself is absolutely stunning. Literally every street we walked down was photo worthy and lined with cafes, bars and stores selling some amazing handicrafts. Next up was Rafaela Terraza. This wasn't on our list, but our stomachs were grumbling, so we decided to make a pit stop. Now, we should note that we visited during the day, so Rafaela and most places were pretty quiet. But we imagined this spot would be a whole lot of fun when the sun goes down. Even the playlist they had going was right up our alley. While you're here, don't forget to give us a follow on Instagram. We post extra content there and it's the best way to follow our adventures in real time. If you happen to be nearby or just want to say hello, feel free to drop us a message there. Rafaela served us up some tasty margaritas, but only once we had fueled up with the biggest plate of nachos we had ever seen. Not a bad spot. <laughs> After lunch, a few drinks each and some more exploring, we could feel our energy levels starting to dip and we were in desperate need of some caffeine. We stopped off for a coffee and a water break at La Azotea. La Azotea is located smack bang in the center of town, just off Jardin Allende. The place was nicely decorated and had a variety of great spots to sit, both indoors and out, but it was a shame to see the beautiful view blocked by plants. it was time to start thinking about the money shot i.e. where we wanted to see our San Miguel sunset as these things go we had plenty more spots on our list and not nearly enough time to see them all but after some healthy debate we had our final two <music> sits atop the Rosewood Hotel and is one of the more premium options in San Miguel. It's got a very upscale vibe, even the bathrooms are fancy. It 
was definitely the biggest rooftop we visited and has almost 360 degree views, which definitely added to the appeal. The service at Luna was impeccable and the bar staff whipped us up some of the best cocktails we've had anywhere in Mexico. And that's a big call. They were on the pricier side, but it was well worth it in our opinion. Perhaps now is a good time to mention that San Miguel is known to be a bit of an expat town with a lot of people from the United States choosing to move down here, especially to retire. This does drive the prices up, so be prepared for that. Our last and final stop for the day was Kinse. This is one we had seen and heard recommended in a few different places, so it made sense to be our final destination. We had our eyes on this spot from the other rooftops in the area as well, and we knew it would have an amazing view of the sunset and the cathedral in all directions. Was our top pick of all the spots we visited as everything from the drinks to the service to the views was spot on. If you ever get the chance definitely visit San Miguel. Watch the sun go down and see the place transform from a sleepy colonial town into a buzzing and vibrant nightlife spot. <music> Of course, the video doesn't quite do this sunset justice, so you'll just have to come and experience it for yourself. So if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel as it helps us out a lot. And if you think we've missed any cool places, please comment down below with where we should visit next time we're in San Miguel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.